welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jen. Today I'm making a keto cheesecake in the Instant Pot and I'm going to start by making the crust. I have a push, push pan and I have it lined with a piece of parchment paper. And it's a six or seven inch, I believe it's a seven inch push pan. All right, and so what I'm using for my crust is pecan flour because I'm sick to death of almond flour. Um, so I found this at my local Walmart. It was right with the almond flour. Um, I like the taste a little better, just like I said, a year and a half of being on keto. We got really sick of everything being almond flavored. So I need three quarters of a cup of this. Three quarters of a cup of flour, almond flour, pecan flour, any nut flour that you're gonna use. Add a heaping tablespoon of powdered swerve. The only ones that'll eat this cake are me and my son who isn't really keto, but he likes this, uh, he loves cheesecake, so he'll eat this. And then I've got three tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, I'm gonna pour this in my pan. I'm gonna use my hands to spread it out and press it down. And then I'm gonna put it in the freezer for 20 minutes while I get my cheesecake filling ready. All right, so when you're pressing out your crust, you wanna try to get it as even as possible. All right, so for the filling, I'm gonna add 16 ounces of room temperature cream cheese and two thirds of a cup of powdered swirl. And then I'm gonna beat this until it's really mixed well. Now that the sugar and the cream cheese are mixed really well, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. While your blender is on, or your mixer is on low, I'm going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm cheating and taking the bottled stuff because it's just as good in my opinion. And after the lemon juice, I'm gonna go with one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, when you're making cream, cream, anything with cream cheese, it's important to scrape the sides down because they, it just kind of pushes off to the side and doesn't get mixed in. So the mixing process you wanna do with cheesecake before you add your eggs. I wanna make sure this cream cheese mixture is as mixed well as it can be because once you add the eggs, you don't wanna over mix. All right, so I'm scraping my sides down again a second time and I think I'll only need to go and beat it for one, maybe one more minute. You don't wanna see any lumps of cream cheese left. Once it's nice and smooth, then you're ready to add your eggs. My mixer on low, I'm gonna beat the eggs in one at a time. All right, so I only mixed it until everything is blended nicely. Definitely don't wanna over mix eggs into the cream cheese. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my crust out of the freezer and fill it. All right, I'm gonna spread it out, spread the batter out, nice and um, even. Okay. All right, so to put a cheesecake into the Instant Pot, just need any kind of trivet so I'm just using my regular one. All right, so this is what I have found. I've made a lot of cheesecakes in the Instant Pot and they come out great, but this is the best way to keep the water from pooling on top of your cheesecake. So I take a paper towel and I just lay it on top and then I seal it really tightly with a layer of foil. All right, now this is a foil sling. It's a piece of tin foil that I have folded over into thirds. I've used this so many times. Fold it over into thirds to make a sling. This is how you get it in and out of the Instant Pot easily. That's 
that's all there is to it. You just slide it on in, fold those in, and now I'm gonna put my liner right into the Instant Pot. Okay, so I forgot to put my water in my Instant Pot. So I suggest doing this before you put the cheesecake in, but I'm just gonna pour this down the side. One cup of cold water. All right, so it's all set, it's ready. I'm gonna lock my lid. I am going to put my vent to sealing and then I'm going to do manual and it's going to cook for 30 minutes. I'm going to let it naturally pressure release for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to let the rest of the pressure out and then I'm going to let it sit for an hour in the Instant Pot to cool off. All right, so my cheesecake is done. I let it naturally release pressure for 15 minutes and then I hit the button and, and let the rest of the pressure out. And it's been sitting in the opened Instant Pot for about an hour. And this is what we have. A little jiggly. Perfect. And it's totally normal that the paper towel will drip down a little. All right, so now I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll throw it in the fridge and we'll have it tomorrow. All right, so it's a couple days later and there's not much left of my cheesecake because we forgot to film the rest of the video before we devoured it. Um, it's the first time that I've used the pecan flour. I liked it, I, not by itself. I, I'm not a fan of the crust alone, but with the cheesecake filling, it almost tastes like pecan pie cheesecake. Um, so as you can see, we've kind of been liking the cheesecake. I took it to work and lots of people liked it. And I'm like, stay away from my cheesecake.